we are here today to discuss this growing issue of dialect vehicles being parked in places where they should not be in our community as well as the residential mechanics that are operating in communities throughout the port area and Grand Bahama. Um, one of our biggest concerns as a department in the Building and Development Services Department is to regulate such issues that come to our attention. And so today we, we want to send a, a clarion call particularly to the residents who are operating these types of businesses, mechanic operations, body shop operations in our residential communities to cease and desist immediately. It is important for the public to know that uh, vehicles should not be parked on the verge but in the premises. Addition to that, in addition to that, um, it is important for our residents to know that there is a process for the removal of a derelict vehicle. And so the inspectors of city management will place a yellow tag which represents uh, seven days that the owner must remove that vehicle. If that does not occur, we will then follow up with a final notice of 21 days and within that same period, the list of vehicles will be placed in the papers. If the owner fails to comply with the 21 day notice, those vehicles will be removed at the owner's cost as well as destroyed. Um, and so today uh, we find ourselves in a position where most of many of the storage facilities are filled, cannot accept derelict vehicles, but residents have hired persons to remove vehicles and those, in some cases licensees, have moved those vehicles to inappropriate and unacceptable locations. We are now in the process of clearing a land as soon as that's completed, we will notify the licensees, tow truck, truck, tow truck drivers as to the location so that vehicles can be dropped um, at a reasonable time um, and placed responsibly within those locations. We work closely in conjunction with the Grand Bahama Port Authority, the Department of Environmental Health, in making Grand Bahama a better place to live for residents. We are adamant about the situation with the amount of derelict vehicles. So we're encouraging residents wherever they can to do their part in helping us to achieve this objective. We want to encourage our residents to call our customer relations department or our commercial department to speak with either Mr. Charles Pratt or Mrs. Nicole Colbrook and their representatives to try to legitimize their operations and to look for a proper location for these businesses to operate from. Many vehicles that are on the verge, uh, not just persons who want to remove from their yards, but existing locations where there are numerous amount of uh, derelict vehicles, those vehicles along with new vehicles will be transported to this new site uh, where they can be disposed of properly and we're asking residents if you have concerns call 352-2000 that's our 24-hour helpline if you have concerns about vehicles that needs to be removed uh, if a vehicle is in your yard uh, we would need you to sign a um, indemnity clause allowing us to remove that vehicle however it's on the verge there is a process as i mentioned earlier seven day notice, um, not compliance with that is 21 days, it will be in the papers, and that vehicle after the expiration of the 21 day will be removed um, at owner's expense. So we ask in persons, if you have concerns or questions, please call our helpline, it's 24 hours, someone will answer that call and we, would, we are here to assist you.